Good morning and happy National Roller Coaster Day 2019 here in the UK. You'll be watching this tomorrow, I think. So National Roller Coaster Day will have been yesterday for you when you're watching this. Or if you're watching it later, it's at some other point in the past. Anyway, got a little bit of a challenge lined up. Stevie's at work, which is why there's no Stevie in the car. And the reason I'm sat in the car thought so far is because it's chucking it down outside and I don't want to get the camera wet. And I'm probably going to have to get the camera wet at some point today because it's going to rain all day. But I'm starting the day here in Blackpool, on Blackpool Pleasure Beach, and there's a couple of uh, a couple of reasons for, for what I'm doing today. So, obviously, there's a certain roller coaster here that's 25 years old this year, and there's a certain roller coaster that's one year old this year, right here. And then I might head down the M6 a little bit to another theme park in maybe Staffordshire area that's got a roller coaster that's 25 years old this year and another one that's one year old this year so I wonder if you can guess what it is yet that I'm up to today it's not quite as uh, in depth as the challenge that we did last year which was the week after National Roller Coaster Day last year actually where we did all four Merlin parks in one day and did two rides in each of the parks and if you didn't see that by the way I'll, I'll probably drop a link down in the description so check that out because it was a really good day it was a lot of driving for me which is why I didn't fancy doing something like that again this year but this is a nice little challenge anyway it's a little bit less driving you can see a lot of the M6 today but we'll kick off the day with a certain 25 year old big red and blue thing over there I was a little bit concerned about the weather May, maybe stopping the big one but they are doing the morning tests on it sending it all the way over the top oh that's a well timed bus isn't it thank you bus yes the big one's testing this is a good sign I don't know why but there's some falconry going on outside the Alice ride this morning interesting I'm going to start National Roller Coaster Day 2019 on the UK's tallest roller coaster, the big one, which is celebrating 25 years of operation this year. It's still one of my favourite coasters in the country, and that first drop is just something else. Let's just wait for Icon to go past. So, in case you're wondering what the nice background is, I've got my umbrella up because it's chucking it down again at the moment. But just a uh, interesting point today as the big one is celebrating its 25th birthday there is a brand new soundtrack that's been composed by the notable stranger who's the same chap behind the icon soundtrack and also the fantastic hot ice soundtrack as well really enjoy his work um, i've heard a few little samples in advance courtesy of the pleasure beach so i'm really looking forward to hearing that new soundtrack blasting out around the big one today it's, uh, it's going to be all in i can just about hear it in the entrance so there's a yeah the carousel's playing some commercial music next to it so i can't really film next to that at the moment because i'll get copyright flagged but we'll uh, we should be able to hear it inside the station i'm just letting the big one's queue build up a little bit in fact they're just letting people into the big one now there's a little tiny bit of a queue so we'll get in there and hopefully we'll have a chance to hear the new soundtrack from inside the station <laughs> time where else my favorite row on the big one kick off national roller coaster day 2019 it's interesting they have kept the original announcements from the big one obviously dub them over the new soundtrack
one is absolutely, absolutely flying today. It's really, really running well, despite this weather. The weather's not ideal, of course, but I don't think it's that windy, so it's actually the, the nice wet track there. It's flying along, nice little bits of air time flying around on the track, which is a bit hit and miss sometimes on the big one. Went on it three times in the back row, we went on the middle of the train and then finished off on the front row. So that's the first coaster of National Roller Coaster Day 2019, done and dusted. Do a little bit more filming of it now and then we're going to head on to Icon, which is celebrating its first birthday this year. Can't wait to get back on Icon. I'll try for front row and back row on Icon and then going to get on the road to my next mystery destination. four goes on icon there one on the front row one in the middle and two at the back the uh, ride ops are just trying to fill the train as much as possible so i kept them to go around because i love the front row on there and eventually i got it so four goes on icon three on the big one a little bit of a wander around doing some filming around the park making sure that there's some footage to put in the vlog despite the rain and it's been a really good couple of hours at blackpool pleasure beach absolutely love the big one and icon as always great way to start the day celebrating national roller coaster day here in the uk today now it's time for me to jump on the M6 and get towards Staffordshire for part two of the day. It looks like we could be on to a winner here. It's a really, really quiet afternoon, most of it because the weather's absolutely dreadful. Oh, by the way, the um, time lapse died on the camera on the GoPro about 10 miles away from Alton Towers, so you missed the last 10 miles. But the sat nav sent me a really random way like past Manchester and then all the way through ro rural Cheshire, rural Staffordshire, all over the place. A really, really long, long way. And it took three hours. It should have taken straight down the M6. And it should have been about an hour and 50 minutes. It was not an hour and 50 minutes. It was closer to three hours. But we are at just coming up to three o'clock here at Alton Towers. We've got three hours left. Now, Alton Towers, of course, is famous for its secret weapons. And that was all kicked off by Nemesis, which is also celebrating its 25th birthday. The same as, the, same as uh, the big one, of course, that we rode earlier this morning at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Then the most recent one, one year old, just like Icon, is Wickerman. I think we're on to a winner for riding every single one of the secret weapons this afternoon. Because the park's open till 6 for the most part, and then Nemesis is actually open till 7. So we'll save Nemesis until the end. Then we'll start off with Wickerman, because that's the one that has got a little tiny bit of a queue, currently at 15 minutes. I think we're, we could ride all the secret weapons today. Wickerman looking steamy in the horrible rain. Nice little 15 minute queue though, let's get on here. Apologies we're suffering in terms of footage today, it's really, this camera's not very waterproof and I don't want to get it wet and wreck it, so you have to bear with me unfortunately. Hopefully it'll stop raining at some point, but it's not looking like it at the moment. Anyway, Wickerman on the front row was absolutely fantastic. Really, really top, top ride. There was loads of airtime on there. I love Wickerman in the rain. It absolutely flies around the track. Now, that's of course the most recent secret weapon that we have here at Alton Towers. It was uh, Secret Weapon 8 during its construction. And uh, now we're going to go to the one before that. Back in 2013, the Smiler was constructed as Secret Weapon 7. 
is still the world record holder for the most inversions. 14 inversions. rained on we'll keep this brief but we've just been on the smiler the single rider queue absolute completely walked onto that there's a very very small main queue but single rider queue nobody else in it straight on there it's the, th it's the shortest i've ever waited for the smiler that i think really really good and then we went on to secret weapon 4 which is oblivion of course opened in 1998 as the world's first vertical drop roller coaster even though it's not quite vertical it's a couple of degrees off now we're going to go to Secret Weapon 6, which is 13, the world's first free fall drop roller coaster. Opened back in 2010, and it's one of my little favourite rides in the park. It's, a, it's the only other secret weapon other than Wicker Man that has a 1.2 metre height restriction for those younger riders who may want to just try something a little bit scarier than a kiddie coaster. 13 is also on a zero minute wait, which is good. There goes Rita. Not desperate to ride Rita today because it's not actually a secret weapon coaster. It was installed out of the secret weapon franchise, so to speak. And that was a really big puddle on the floor. Sheltering in the burger kitchen. The 13 had a weather delay. It's uh, it was if there was anything gonna spike me in terms of weather delays today, I know it's gonna be 13 because it is the one that's a little bit temperamental, especially when it's chucking it down. The weather is particularly bad at the moment. We've still got about an hour and a half until normal ride close. So what's a challenge without a little setback? So I'm gonna try and get back on 13 later so I can do my little secret weapon challenge thing that I'm doing this afternoon. For now, I think I'm gonna jump on the sky ride because that's nearby to 13 from the Dark Forest. Head over to Forbidden Valley, get on Galactica, that's another secret weapon ticked off and then potentially come back here again and try 13 one more time, just see if I can get on that and then finish off on Nemesis. Wish me luck. Right, here we are in Forbidden Valley. Gonna head on to Galactica in a second. At the moment, I'm hiding under a tree. Is Galactica actually running? There it is. Galactica is also on a zero minute wait. As it flies by. That's an empty train. Hopefully that's a sign that it's really, really quiet and not that it's broke. Just on the way out of Galactica, in the Galactica shop, they've got a selection of Nemesis merchandise, including the Nemesis 25, 25th anniversary t-shirts and hoodies there that they've only got small ones and kid sizes left. Just if you are visiting Alton Towers this weekend, they have got 25% off all Nemesis merchandise all weekend. The collector's coin there. Nemesis 25, that's pretty cool. Reduced down to three pounds for this weekend only. That's so they're making our first weather announcements on Galactica now as well. It's saying it's running. But it was a little bit on the painful side then on the on the ride. But anyway, I still enjoyed it. It was just I had to keep my eyes kind of like this for most of the ride so I couldn't really see much of what was going on. And the music's gone really loud. <laughs> yeah, Galactica of course, previously known as Air, was Secret Weapon 5, opened back in 2002. And although it's not my favourite ride at Alton Towers by any means, it holds a little bit of a special place for me because it was the first roller coaster. I was of that age where I was really interested in roller coasters and I followed the construction. There was a um, Secret Weapons 5 Live, I think it was, which I think evolved into Towers Times later on. That was the website I remember following and there was a forum I remember discussing with fellow coaster enthusiasts for the first time about this exciting new world's first B&M flying coaster that was being built right here at Alton Towers. Now I'm going to head back on the, potentially back on the sky ride if there's not a big queue, back over to 13. Hopefully 13's back open again, although the rain, if anything, is a bit heavier than it was when they shot 13 for the weather. But it's the only, there's only that and Nemesis left to do now, so Nemesis is open for another 
two hours and eight minutes because it's open until 7 p.m. today, extra hour. So we'll go and give a truck 13 another try, fingers crossed, because it's 13 is going to be the one now. I need 13 and then I'll do my secret weapon challenge this afternoon. Skyride for one, anyone? It's very, very quiet here on these hours now. Everyone's going on the skyride the other way from back to the park entrance. Right, the app says 13 is open. So fingers crossed, let's do this. We made it onto 13, really, really pleased with that. That was absolutely flying. All, all the coasters are everywhere. To be fair, Pleasure Beach this morning, Alton Towers this afternoon. Because of the wet track and it's still fairly warm, everything's just flying around those tracks today. Really, really good. If you don't mind a bit of rain, I do recommend coming to a park on a rainy day because the coasters just love it. Now, just one more coaster left to do on my little secret weapon challenge. And I've got a little bit of time to play with. So, I've got 20 past five, most of the rides shut at six, apart from Nemesis, which is open at seven. So I think we've got time to hit up Oblivion and Wicker Man because those are the two that I love the most other than Nemesis and, yeah, sorry, <laughs> Nemesis, Wicker Man and Oblivion are probably my favourite secret weapons. So let's get on Oblivion and Wicker Man again, shall we? What an experience I've just had on Wicker Man was that quiet. I had the entire pre-show to myself, walked into the station on my own and they had to send a staff member on, went on the back row, had to send a staff member on with me because they're not allowed to send one person on their own on the train. So I don't think I'm ever going to repeat that at Alton Towers. Just on my own, on Wicker Man, on my own in the pre-show. What a day, national national coaster day as well. What a special day for it. And just to top it off at the end now as well, we're going to celebrate the 25th birthday, 1994, like we started on the big one at the start of the day. Let's finish on Nemesis. I don't know how well you can see this on the camera, but the lights are on. The Scarefest lights. And look, special signage. You've got to love special signage, haven't you? Is this smoke normally here? I don't know, new smoke. But look at this. Look, that's a cool sign. I'm a fan. Here's some more special 25th anniversary signage. Let's go on the ride and then I'll do some filming. It's looking spooky with the Scarefest lights on. It's exciting. Can't wait for Scarefest. Looks even better in the dark, does Nemesis. This is an empty train. We'll film it anyway. Playing with the queue time. It said 160 minutes ago. 160 minutes? A minute ago? And now it says one minute. It's not even that, to be fair. Running it on two trains, but only filling one. Time for one last go on it. Would you believe it? It's stopped raining as it's uh, just about hitting seven o'clock and Nemesis is closing for the day. But never mind. It's been a fantastic day. I had three rides on Nemesis to finish the day, bookending the day with the two classic 1994 coasters, turning 25 years old this year. I had Wicker Man to myself before. There's a monorail train going over my head being really loud. These monorail trains are longer than you think when they're going over your head. Anyway, low battery is flashing at me. It's time for me to shut up, get on the road in my really, really soggy clothes. I think like I'm wet, my camera's wet. It's gonna take me all weekend to dry off. So much fun today. Got on all the secret weapons here at Alton Towers. Bookended it with a big one at the start of the day. Nemesis at the end of the day. 1994. What a year for fantastic roller coasters here in the UK. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed coming along on this little adventure that I've had today. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button for more videos in future. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.